Hey everyone, this is Steve Weintraub with Collider, and we are here in the Collider studio, sponsored by Saratoga Springwater. Thank you, Saratoga. Sundance is expensive. We need sponsors. Thank you. Uh, and I'm just going to say I'm here with the cast of Divinity and the composer of Divinity. And I want to say uh, congratulations for being part of Sundance. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so listen, uh, the film has not premiered yet. I have not seen it yet, but I have seen footage. I saw the trailer, the teaser trailer, if you will. And one of the things that lo like it looks really cool and different and not what I was expecting. And I would imagine for all of you guys, this had to have been a unique process, like working on the film. So for all four of you, can you sort of talk about what drew you to the script? What drew you to the project? Um, for me, I think it was really just the opportunity to work with Eddie. He is such a mastermind in what he does. Um, and we've all saw, uh, uh, what am I? Vandal. Vandal. I was about to say Vault. Gosh. Vandal. Um, that was amazing as well. So I just wanted to be a part of his his art and his work. Um, and so when he asked me, I was like, oh, dude, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, well, I had auditioned for a whole different movie. And then Eddie like called me and he was like, yeah, let's do it. Like, I want you to be part of this movie. And like, we were at his house, like trying to ride a bike, like, yeah, no, all this crazy stuff. And then one day he just comes and he's like, I have another idea, actually. So I was like completely um, in the like mindset that I was going to do a different movie. And then one day Eddie just comes with like a whole different script, a whole different mood board. And he's like, let's just do something else. So I was like, OK, I mean, I'm down. I was I was totally um, prepared to do something else. But because of Eddie and like his vision, I was like, listen, wherever you're trying to go, I'm, I'm going to just follow you. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think um, all of us were a fan of uh, Eddie's work, and I think uh, initially I received the same script, and I think Eddie wanted us two together. I don't know if yeah. people have noticed, but like, we're pretty similar <laughs> in many ways. Um, and I think that hopefully that translates to the image. I think um, you know, it's it's these two uh, brothers, mysterious brothers, um, and I think that uh, in the black and white world and in the tone of the story. I think what we uh, were able to put together hopefully comes together. Um, okay. Well, hi. <laughs> um, I yes, a fan of Eddie's work. Um, I met him at a uh, can, and he was just really sweet. We talked about a few um, projects, and uh, and then he talked about this one, and he was like, "Hey, do you have some time to like come in and and, and shoot some shit for us?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Um, and um, yeah, I didn't get a script. Um, was not aware that there ever was a script. <laughs> but then at some point, I was like, okay, but but I, I, I'm gonna need you to write me just like a little something yeah. to work with, so <laughs> that we can like, you know, because uh, yeah, I think sometimes as actors, you feel a little like trained in that way of like, do this, do that, know your lines, know this, know your world. Um, and then this was exactly the opposite of that, mm -hmm. um, and that was really fun. It was a really interesting experience. I've never done that before. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. Um um, what that's like but at the same time like anyway I, I, I would imagine when you finally see the finished film you're gonna it's gonna be an experience yeah. you know yeah. oh yeah can't audience. wait yeah very interesting so you have a pretty good resume when it comes to music I'm gonna say it like that and I'm curious if someone has actually never heard anything you've done before what is the first thing you want them listening to and why probably man my first album I put out was Cypress Hill the first album in 91 mm -hmm. just uh, my first album was Cypress Hill 91. That was like our whole lives, you know what I mean? Our whole lives was that first album. Everything we was doing, everything we was going through, how we was acting, what was happening. So that would probably be it right there. So I want to do a follow up. How did you actually get involved in doing, you know, for this film? Well, Eddie reached out for me and, um, you know, we was talking back and forth for a minute. And this is something outside of my comfort zone. So it was a challenge, you know, how to bring the sound and this pulse to this different world. So I was like, yeah, I'm up for this, let's do it. So if you don't mind me asking, like where did you start in terms of, did he give you some sort of, like, in, like you know, did he give you some parameters of what he was looking for? Or did he say, you, you do this and, and I'll give you feedback? No, nah, we talked, we watched the film a few times, we talked and then um, he just let me have at it. So what, what can you tease people about the sound? Um, it's unique. You know, it was unique and it was a challenge and it was fun. And, you know, it was something I don't want to keep rehashing anything that I've done in the past. So for me to be, have the, the pleasure to be able to do this was um, 
definitely a challenge and I had a good time making it, man. I'm gonna go back to you guys. Um, a follow-up question similar to what I just said. Uh, for, for all of you guys, if someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you want them watching and why? <laughs> uh, my first Sundance ex experience was Kings of Summer. Um, that'll always be very memorable. And it was a very, uh, I was 18 years old. It was the first, uh, obviously, festival I, I went to with the film. That, because uh, it was sort of my graduation from my childhood to, I wouldn't say a grown man, but a growner man. <laughs> <laughs> growner. Um, uh, I did this movie that um, that I liked a lot called Girl. Um, it was very fun. The director was uh, great to uh, work with, and he wrote it as well. And I, I love a script that is also written by the director. I always like that. I would probably probably say a show that I was on called Claws. Um, that was like a huge moment and experience for me. Um, and I think it was like the final moment where people took me serious and I was able to really um, show myself as, as an actor and in my art and be creative. Um, so, yeah. Um, I would say on my block, because I, I just think that the writing is so impeccable. Like to like beyond the acting, I think the writing of that is just like timeless. So like to get to be part of something that I think is sort of almost like this cult phenomenon is, is like a blessing. Uh, I would. I don't know how long you guys actually shot the movie. Uh, I don't know the specifics, but I'll say for for the four of you, what was one day on set that you were like, I don't know, uh, like circled, you know, in terms of a challenging day on set or something you were excited to film or if you could talk a little bit about the making of the film, because I see your smiles and I know there are stories <laughs> you here. You and I are thinking the same thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> We've all had our own moments. I no. think we spent maybe a total of like a month and a half filming. Part of that was in Joshua Tree, which we did a lot of our work. We, we had some uh, interesting scenes. We I, I don't know if we want to like give away what we did. Um, we had a very intimate scene, yeah. intimate scene between very, all of us. Even oh. if, yeah, <laughs> see exactly. tonight, girl. That would be fun at even the premiere. Even, um, <laughs> yeah, even we had an interesting, crazy scene. In a different way. Yeah, <laughs> where we're like yelling at each other and things uh -huh. are happening. I don't want to give the movie away, but. It's intense. Yeah. Honestly, everything. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a, a, a bit, um, you know, I was excited it was one location, one, um, even though throughout the blocks of shooting it ended up not being that, but I thought it was going to be, you know, um, nice because of that. And then 120 degree weather is a factor mm -hmm. in our tattoos, which cover our palms um, and sweat yeah. and jujitsu, mm -hmm. <laughs> fighting. You can imagine how chaotic that can uh well did you know that when you first signed on that you'd be doing some of those things yeah definitely but i think um that we didn't consider the 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 actual like temperatures um mm -hmm. and yeah i mean yeah for sure it was I, too much oh he's oh, basically I'm, saying it's a shit show because makeup's going everywhere <laughs> and it's falling apart and it's all yeah. hot and sweaty everybody feels like they're are you trying to say out. that making movies is not as glamorous as people think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well that's funny. Did you have a thing? Oh, I was, I mean, yeah, I had to like adult real quick. I went from like playing 14 to like, <laughs> you'll see, not 14 or <laughs> maybe some crazy 14 year olds. But there was also this one day that um, like we had to do a scene where we eat. And usually you do scenes with foods and movies and like you have a spit bucket and you could, but like Eddie just wants to keep going. You're also shooting on film. So it's like, it's not as easy to manipulate. So like we had to actually eat this food and I'm just like so sensitive. <laughs> but, like between every cut, I was like ready to throw up and ready to die on this set. But it was it was like a lot of fun, but it was like the most intense. Turkey papaya. Turkey, but yo, yeah. but he wanted us to like eat like Wait, animals, what? like yeah. monsters, yeah. like with our hands. And it was just like. I, yo, <laughs> that, 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 that's the thing. I've, I've spoken to a lot of actors about eating scenes, and it's like some I've spoken to, like I forget what someone told me they ate like seven platefuls of pasta. Oh, Joel Kinnaman, 
when he was filming, yeah, he's like, he will eat whatever's in front of him. And then other people are like, you know, you see them just taking, you know, yeah. to try to minimize because right. it's it's challenging. Mm -hmm. Or they like always have like a little fruit bowl or like a salad because they're like, <laughs> I can do this seven times. But like, no, you know, we had a whole Thanksgiving feast. One of the things, though, that I think is cool is you shot on a black and white. I think it's like the same way they shot. Um, uh, Stephen was just saying to me the same way that uh, uh, Darren Aronofsky shot Pi. Uh, with the black and white 16 millimeter reversal footage. Um, so what was it like work? Because I don't know how often you guys work with film, but not it's not often for a lot of people. So what was that like? 15 years ago, it, it was film and it switched to digital. And then now I feel like I've been doing a lot of stuff on film. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wait, like when, back then you were doing a lot of film? Yeah, yeah, for oh. 2005. Interesting. Yeah. I haven't been working that long. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like for you guys? Um, it's just like uh, Jason was saying, there's certain things you can't manipulate. There's a longer process. Um, what was that like tent where the dude had his hands in there? He was like processing the film, I think, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. as we were shooting. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just more than just like hitting oh. record and go, you know, um, but it looks stunning. So it's all it's all worth it. And 16 mil, you need a lot of light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A, a lot, lot of light. a lot of hot light. It's great when you're filming outside in 120 degrees. No, they <laughs> would bring nice lights scenes. inside that were yeah. hotter than 120 degrees. Yeah, it was it was intense. 120 degrees plus lights. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> you know, like I said, filmmaking. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. very glamorous. <laughs> you know, so I definitely want to talk about when you were making this. Did you have any idea that you were going to be part of Sundance? Because it's, I mean, it's very cool to be here with the film. No, I don't think we knew. I think we kind of had kept our fingers crossed in hopes that we would be here. And we're here, and it's my first experience. Um, and it's just amazing and awesome to be here. Yeah. I, who's, I know you've been here before with Sundance, but is, have you been here? For, I'm, I'm, I've been here, here, but like it was not a movie I had. It was like an was, award thing. Oh, I was going to say you wanted to party. I get it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I, I'm going to do one more question. I can tell you enjoy talking. I, am I? Yeah, I'm ready. So, yeah, I was. I'm, I'm just fucking around. So my thing though is when you're composing and you're working on the music, what have are you using the similar software to what you've been doing, or how has it advanced as technology has advanced? Um, <clears throat> like the symphonies are sick. They sound like real symphonies, orchestras, you know, and, and all those sounds. Otherwise, I'm using the same stuff when. The beat side, when I'm doing the beats, that's traditionally what I do. But when it comes to the, the sounds and the orchestral sounds, that sounds like a real orchestra now. It doesn't sound like keyboard shit at all. How did how much back and forth uh, went on with the music on this? I pretty much nailed it like 80% the first time. Then there were some details we had to dial in. Sure. But we got it, yeah. Um, I definitely am curious if you guys are going to see any other movies while you're here, or are you sort of like in and out of the festival? Yeah, sadly, I, I, I'm i in and out. Pretty in and out, but I, I like, I definitely want to see everything that I'm hearing about. So I'm going to just go to the theaters. I wanna... Are you hanging, are you staying here? No, I mean when like everything gets bought. Oh, got it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I was going to be like, oh, you're staying for the week. You know what I mean? Um, well, listen, I, I, I'm going to stop here and just say that I'm sincerely, no bullshit, really looking forward to seeing this movie. And I will see it while I'm here at Sundance. Yeah. And really congratulations for being part of the festival. Thank you. And um, I really wish you nothing but the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. you know what I mean?